Mesdames et messieurs, vous l'avez lu dans le titre aujourd'hui, on reçoit un invité de taille. C'est un photographe américain, il est venu pendant un mois à Paris pour photographier la ville. On s'est déjà rencontré, je me suis dit que ce serait trop cool de faire une vidéo pour vous le présenter si vous ne le connaissez pas déjà. Il s'appelle Faisal Westcott, il est américain et son travail me fait énormément kiffer. C'est quelqu'un qui a un rapport à l'image et à ce qu'il crée sur YouTube que je trouve fascinant. On va le rencontrer, on va passer un moment avec lui autour d'une vidéo très sympa. On va shooter, on va blablater, c'est parti. So good to have you there in Paris. Thank you, man. How's your stay is going? It's, it's so good. I, I'm already thinking of when I'm going to come back. So, probably <laughs> summertime next year. You feel inspired? So. Yeah. Maybe a lot of people that are watching the video, they don't know you. Okay. Yeah, Could yeah. you quickly introduce yourself? My name is Faisal Westcott. I am a photographer based out of Boston, Massachusetts in the United States. Most people probably know me now from my YouTube channel, which kind of focuses on street photography, tutorials, but it's sort of leaning more towards just my journey in photography now. Like I, I want to be more focused on the process versus like, I don't know, trendy gear videos. And, and you are whatnot. doing it great, like oh, thank really you. inspiring. I think this trip was like, all right, I want to make a different type of video from, from my travels. Because you know, before it was just, I would gather all the footage I, I, I make in the place and then make a cinematic video. It didn't really show my experience there or what it was like for me shooting there. So yeah. I want to be more uh, personable and provide more insight. Yeah. I think it can help people. Like putting as much creativity and inspiration in your video yep. as in your photo. And I know it's a it, really, it's, it's really a hard yeah, job we'll talk to be more focused about it on later. both. Okay. Yeah. We'll, well, Talk about it it's later. a it's a love hate relationship, but <laughs> I wouldn't be able to be here for this long and have these experiences without YouTube. So it's a big part of what I do now. So <laughs> it feels a bit more familiar than I thought it would. You know, yeah. Like I thought the language barrier would be yeah. like I feel like I'm in a totally different world, but no, no. So it's, it's a lot more familiar. It's like a I kind thought. of cosmopolitan city. I've got a lot of people yeah. speaking English. And I honestly, I don't, I don't know what you think, but to me, it feels a bit like New York just in the, the density. That's uh, the first thing you told me. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't feel that because no. yeah. it's, I, like, I would it's, that. it's kind of my, not my home there, but uh, I've been in Paris like a lot of times before living there. Yeah. I never felt that. When I went in New York, I was like, wow, that's so different. So what do you and think you, is... And, you, and you're, you're coming there like, I wouldn't, that's it's, the same. It's very, no, it's not <laughs> no. the same, but it's familiar in the intensity of the city. Like just like the amount of people, um, yeah. all the subjects, different subjects different kind of environment. I actually prefer shooting here than New York. And how do you feel like the, the people, are they like shy with the camera or like? So the only time I really had someone approach me, it was like, I was taking a reflection photo. Yeah. So they came out of the, the building and asked me what I was doing. And I was like, <laughs> I don't know, just taking a reflection photo. And they were like, okay. It wasn't a big deal because I'm not like in their face yeah. when I shoot. Yeah, you're more into like texture yeah. things, reflection. And I've been doing a lot of yeah. Uh, that's that's a good textures. place to, to make yeah. a reflection also. You should, you should come here longer next time. I thought a month was a long time, but <laughs> I think I gotta be here for at least three months next time. Three next months? time, I hope you will stay in the same <laughs> neighbor so we can... I will try to, we are, honestly. We are closer. I, I, really I think like you're, you're like 10 minutes by foot from my home, so yeah, sounds we're, good. Let's move before I get <laughs> shat on. You know, you want a, a fun fact, uh -huh. like just over there, the the picture in blue with the, the brand like Undies. I don't know if it's known in the in the US. It's a, I think it's a French brand. They just so showcased on uh, Instagram and internet because it's the first French campaign made with AI. This is AI? Yeah, so all the photographers are on Twitter and Instagram, mm. they're like, come on, no. what the fuck, it's ugly. Express your creative, what? <laughs> No. It has no sense. Even the picture, like you just have to book like a model, a pool, and uh, and all their arguments on uh, on Instagram. They are like answering all the bad comments. It's very, very creative. Very creative. No. We can find something more creative, I think. Yeah. Have you ever uh, questioned yourself about why are you shooting? Why are you creating thanks to photography? I think it's simple, actually. I think I grew up an artist. Genetically, I grew up in a family of artists. And 
it's literally in my DNA to create things. I need to create, to breathe. I found my avenue to do that. If I didn't have a camera, I would find another way to create. And it's it's kind of comes down to that. I, I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain because it's, it's an escape sometimes too, yeah. from, from my own mind, just to walk around and, and shoot. That's more specifically to street photography, I would say. You know, it's the most overused and cliche thing to say, but you know, it, it is like, like a meditation to walk around and, yeah. and, and to photograph just by yourself and be present. And yeah, I think that's that's enough of a of a reasoning for me right now. And maybe down the road, I I come to a, a different answer to that question. <laughs> but for now, it, it's enough for me. You know. Yeah. And I think with the channel, I've found a new sense of purpose in what I do mm -hmm. as well because I've, I'm seeing that you know being able to share my process and my knowledge is helping a lot of people. And like that's to be honest, that's like what also drives me to keep making things and keep making videos about you know whatever photography related videos. You know, like I think that's leaving an impact. I I feel the same with YouTube. Like when I started photography, there wasn't that much people that were sharing their process and that's what I, I like with your work it's like just what's happening behind and what you feel and why you create and it's more what people should get focused into and so seeing you sharing that it's so inspiring I say the same about you when you watch my video in French yes uh, croissant just, baguette just, just, or when he said oh. croissant baguette really inspiring <laughs> <laughs> no, I think for, for me it's, it's more your your photography when I see your work. That's why we can we can link too. It's, it's like we said it before, but you you don't have like it's an universal language. The picture, the way you you see it, and if yeah. it moves you or not. How do you deal with inspiration? Do you sometimes get bored? Uh, how do you like refresh your mind? I'm very much impacted by environment. Yeah. Psychologically, I, I need to be in a different place. And I think that's kind of like why I'm traveling a lot now. Whenever I'm in Boston, at home, I always have the need to, to be out. So like I'll, I'll find a park, cafe to work in. Like I can't work in, a, in my room. Like I'm just that much impacted on environment. So whenever I'm traveling, I feel like I have a new sense of inspiration. And then I take that back home. So when I, whenever I come back to Boston, like I'm probably going to be so much more inspired to, to shoot the streets of Boston. When I, oh, after this trip. Do you think like each trip brings you like some new um, yeah, you take, inspiration and maybe take new way of creating? New way of creating. Um, like this trip specifically like made me realize like more what I want to do for my YouTube channel. I know that's not directly photography, but I think that's that's true. I think that motivates me a lot. Um, and I feel like I'm having more um, experiences, different experiences that I wouldn't necessarily get if I wasn't traveling as much. Like I wouldn't be meeting as many new people if I didn't, if I just, you know, enclosed myself to a certain part of the world. I mean, I respect people who photograph like their hometown and like they dedicate their life's work to a certain place and that's perfectly fine too. But for me, I, I think there's so much in the world that I want to see that inspires me to, to go out there and, and photograph. Yeah, it, it, it opens it opens your mind yeah. to see like some some details you, you that are maybe crazy in Paris and that you don't focus in Boston and when you right. go back in Boston you just yeah. see the same thing and you're like, oh, like, come on. We're just talking about the markets, right? Yeah. We have these small markets in Boston, but like, I really don't photograph those markets. So I think I might go back and, <laughs> and photograph those markets now. You're going to compare? You, you'll, you'll tell me if it's uh, I'll if show the you if Parisian it's not, markets it's, are. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like literally just two stalls and that's yeah. it. It's not. Have you got any photographers that you would like to, to share with us that are inspiring for you? I can't think of anyone off the top of my head. I'm, I feel like I'm just inspired every time I go online, you know? <laughs> Sometimes it's it's not. For some people, they, they look at Instagram as like like a way to socially compare their, themselves to negatively, but it's always a source of inspiration to me. Yeah. I mean, it's just seeing all, all the different styles that people have. I want to get more into like portraiture of like the street style, but mm -hmm. I can't say anyone who's who, who's doing that right now, but that's something I want to get into more. Portraiture? Portraiture in, 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 the, street? Stri in the street. Like sense. facing to people and shoot them or like more? No, like uh, working with an with a actual person like on the street okay. in, the, in, the, in, in the street sense, but it's like, stage you know? okay can we to see like uh, what what is going to be your your next step and the next things yeah. you're going to I mean, try in photography you know, i used to do i used to do portraits like i would go to like all these meetups so it's like oh, all right let's go meet up we got these like 
five models and like <laughs> ten, 10 dudes are like with Nikons just like pointing at her. <laughs> yeah, that was about it. But I think that's like the joy of photography too. It's like you, you can change at any moment. People think you have to stick to one thing. I mean, maybe it helps you to develop, you know, a name for yourself, but then you just put yourself into a box. I feel I feel the same. At the beginning, I were I was more into like you just have to focus on one thing, and then I understood while shooting a, a lot of different stuff that the way you shoot maybe landscapes, you can import it to the way you shoot streets. Going to cities that have like so much character on the streets, like Paris or Morocco, I've, I've definitely grown in a sense of like my eyes becoming more observant to small details on the street. Like we just walked by like that random piece of paper. I don't know what it said, but like to me it was like interesting how it was like, just there, like this whole fully written page on the street. And I think that can that level of observation can easily transfer to any setting. Yeah. It can transfer to the forest, the jungle, outer space, underwater. <laughs> I would love That's in, the next step, underwater in, photography. In France, we've got uh, one of the, the guy who was in space, which is called Thomas Pesquet. Okay, yeah. And he, he's a photographer too. I would love to have him on the channel and ask him some question about what is it to shoot in space? <laughs> Bro, everything, stars, that's it. <laughs> Can you do street photography in space? <laughs> literally, when you photograph the Earth, you just photographed everything, so. Yeah, it was, made it. <laughs> Whoa, it was a hard yeah. day. Yeah. I just shoot the whole Earth. <laughs> right. Yep, been there, done that, photographed that already. Petit changement de plan pour cette vidéo, on était censé vous emmener euh, continuer cet échange talk session photo avec Faisal à la foire du trône, mais on s'est fait recaler. On a donc décidé de se replier chez moi. Et évidemment, on s'est plongé dans les livres photos. Je suis très reconnaissant d'avoir reçu Faisal sur la chaîne, c'est pour moi un des photographes les plus inspirants à suivre sur YouTube, donc ne manquez pas ça, abonnez-vous à sa chaîne. J'espère que vous avez apprécié ce format malgré cette fin un peu brutale. Encore un gros merci à Faisal et à très vite pour une prochaine vidéo.